interesting facts you didn't know about Burundi. Burundi is a landlocked East African country. It is bordered on the north by Rwanda, on the east and south by Tanzania, and on the west by the Democratic Republic of Congo. The landscape is generally hilly and mountainous in the west, although it drops to a plateau in the east. Burundi was colonized by Germany at the turn of the 20th century and then by the Belgians following World War I. Although the country earned independence in 1962, it has since been ravaged by civil wars and genocides. The country is in a lot of trouble and will take a long time to recover. Ubumwe, Ibakoa, Itramber, the country's motto, translates to unity, work, progress, but strangely, unity and progress have eluded the country since independence. In the coming years, we want to see peace in Burundi. Burundi has a land area of 10,745 square miles and a population of 9.8 million people. For at least 500 years, the Tutsi, Hutu, and Twa people have lived in the country. Burundi was an autonomous monarchy for approximately 200 years before being colonized by Germany at the turn of the century and the Belgians after World War I. The country was ruled by a monarchy when it gained independence in 1962, but coups, assassinations, and regional instability led to the establishment of a one-party republic in 1966. Let's take a look at Burundi's top 10 most fascinating facts. 10. Media is strictly restricted in Burundi. The media is defined as an organization that publishes and broadcasts information. Radio is the most widely used medium in Burundi. Following a coup attempt in 2015, most privately held stations were abolished and state-controlled stations now dominate the airwaves. Journalists' freedom of expression is severely limited and they are frequently harassed. A large number of people have left the country. The BBC World Service was banned in 2019 for airing a documentary that the government did not approve of. The broadcast of Voice of America has likewise been halted. Only 5% of the population has access to the internet. 9. Having a female Burundian Prime Minister In 1993, Hudu Malkir Ndade was elected president and named Sylvie Kinigi as his Prime Minister. Burundi's fun fact is that she was the country's first female prime minister. She was a Tutsi economist who served in numerous government positions before becoming Burundi's first female prime minister and one of the few in Africa. Ndade was asked to create a caretaker government after she was slain. She quit government after the new president chose a new prime minister in 1994. 8. Overpopulation has led to almost a complete deforestation. Deforestation is the destruction of a forest and its replacement with something else, most commonly an agricultural system. Burundi has a population of just over 12 million people. Almost 90% of the population lives in rural areas and relies on subsistence farming. After Mauritius and Rwanda, it is Africa's third most densely inhabited country. Overcrowding has resulted in widespread deforestation due to rural communities. Only 230 million acres of forested land remain, and it is being encroached upon at a rate of 9% every year. 7. The Kadra Falls are on the UNESCO tentative list. The Chutes de la Kadra or Kadra Falls, are stunning waterfalls that encompass over 142 hectares and feature six streams separated over three levels. They are located in the Nyakazu Fault, south of Rutana in southeastern Burundi. In 2007, the falls and the Nyakazu Fault were both placed to UNESCO's tentative list. The preliminary list is where state parties can submit World Heritage Site nominations. 6. Burundi won a gold medal in the 1996 Olympics. Venice Niangabo was born on December 9, 1973, in Vichyso, Burundi's southern province. He was set to run the 1,500 meters in the 1996 Summer Olympics in Atlanta, but he gave his spot to Diudon Kwaizra, a fellow Burundian who was in Atlanta as a coach. Kwaizra had previously been unable to compete due to the lack of a National Olympic Committee in Burundi. Niangabo won the gold medal in the 5,000 meters unexpectedly. He is also the sixth fastest mile runner in the world. He is a member of the Champions for Peace group today, 
and in 2010, he sponsored the Peace Games, which brought together young people from the DRC and Burundi to promote friendship and brotherhood through athletics. 5. Burundians are close to being one of the unhappiest people in the world. The World Happiness Report is published every year by the United Nations Sustainable Development Solutions Network. It's a global poll that assesses countries' happiness based on respondents' assessments of five factors. GDP per capita, social support, healthy life expectancy, freedom, generosity, and the lack of corruption. Burundi was at the bottom of the list in 2018. Burundi was placed 145th in the world in 2019, with South Sudan coming in last at 156. 4. The classification of the Hudu and Tutsi is not exclusively ethnic. Hudu, sometimes known as Bahutu or Wahutu, are Bantu-speaking Rwandans and Burundians. Tutsi, also known as Badisi, Tusi, Wadisi or Wadatsi, are a nilotic ethnic group whose members live in Rwanda and Burundi. In both countries, the Tutsi formed the traditional aristocratic minority, accounting for around 9% and 14% of the population, respectively. Burundi was ruled by a monarch known as the Emwami and an aristocracy known as the Ganwa, who owned the majority of the land in the 16th century. The Hutus were mostly farmers, whereas the Tutsis were mostly herders. For the usage of land, both had to pay tribute to the monarchy. When a Hudu farmer acquired livestock, which equated to riches, he was commonly called to as a Tutsi, and vice versa when Tutsis lost their cattle. Hudus and Tutsis would frequently marry one other. 3. Burundi has been plagued with genocides since independence. Ethnic hostilities in Burundi have erupted twice in recent history, both of which have resulted in genocide. Burundi's government and economy are dominated by the Tutsi tribe, which accounts for 14% of the population. Hudis, who make up 85% of the population, revolted against Tutsi President Mitchell Mikamero's regime in the 1970s. In 1966, Mikamero deposed the monarchy and declared himself president. During the revolt, government forces killed 120,000 Hudis. Two decades later, Tutsi soldiers assassinated Melchior Ndade, the first Hudu president who had been elected in the year before in the first multi-party elections. The ensuing conflict claimed the lives of 300,000 people. Cyprian Ntari Amira, his successor and fellow Hudu Rwandan president Juvenal Habiramana, were shot down in a plane over Rwanda in 1994. The act sparked a genocide in Rwanda, which resulted in the deaths of 800,000 people. 2. Burundi formed part of German East Africa since 1890. In the late 1800s, European rivals acknowledged Imperial Germany's claims to an area of the African Great Lakes equivalent to modern-day Rwanda, Burundi, and mainland Tanzania. The British occupied what was then known as German East Africa during World War I. The Treaty of Versailles handed Belgium the authority to oversee the Rwandan, Burundi section after the war, which is an intriguing fact about Burundi. 1. The country is landlocked and borders Lake Tanganyika. Tanzania, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and Rwanda are all landlocked in Burundi. Bijumbura, the country's capital and principal port, is located on the beaches of Lake Tanganyika. Tanganyika is the world's second largest freshwater lake by volume and the world's sixth largest lake by surface area. It is one of the African Great Lakes and is thought to be between 9 and 12 million years old. Tanzania, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and Zambia share Lake Tanganyika. The lake is a food source, a communication link, and a popular tourist attraction for the countries that share it. The little country of Burundi has a sad history that doesn't look set to shift anytime soon. I hope that this video on Burundi facts was helpful. If you found this video interesting, make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel.